Every year, a new Samsung phone comes out. This year, it was the Samsung Galaxy S8 and Note 8. But now it's time to start talking about something else, the Galaxy S9. Without wasting any more time, let's discuss the release, price, and features of this phone. First off, we can assume that this new Samsung phone will be adding onto the Galaxy S8. The processor, people say, is going to have a Snapdragon 845, which by 2018 should be the most powerful mobile processor. The display for the phone is said to improve upon the Galaxy S8's 1440p display by changing the resolution to 4K. People also say that with Samsung's recent scramble for technology, the S9 will have a much better battery than the S8. Apparently, Samsung might be working on a new motherboard that can allow for such batteries to power something like this. That's the simplest way I can put it. When it comes to price, we don't have a lot to work off of. The prediction so far is around the same price of the S8 when it launched at 745 US dollars. Yes, while this upgrade isn't huge from the S8, it still has a lot of packed in features and technology. When it comes to the design of the phone, we don't really have much to work with again. If you look up concept art right now for future devices, they usually look a lot more futuristic and sleek than what actually comes out. So I'm going to say that the design is going to be a Galaxy S8. I don't think Samsung is going to change much, they'll probably move some things like the fingerprint scanner, maybe make the phone taller or move the buttons, but besides that, I don't think we are going to be seeing a completely bezel-less phone from Samsung with the S9. However, actually at the last minute I checked and apparently Samsung filed a patent for this design you can see here. Is this the Galaxy S9? It could be, but even with this patent, I kind of doubt there is going to be much change from the S8. When it comes to the camera, people have been saying Samsung will go with a dual camera with their rear 21 megapixel camera, as well as new LED lighting effects for capturing in darker situations. Now features are pretty sparse right now for the S9. I would say Samsung would focus more on new software innovations that features what makes the S9 so special easily. The appeal of the S8 is its almost bezel-less display. The S9 I would imagine would focus on another selling point, which is one of the biggest selling points of mobile computers today, which is software. So Samsung could have this powerful, almost PC-like device that you can take with you. And if they focus completely on software, we could see people going out and buying an S9 just to maybe use an exclusive camera app or something like that. So I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please share this video on social media. It really does help. Please leave your thoughts on this in the comments below. And see you.